Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, September 14th, 2021. Today's a public service announcement in regard to the, your forbearance and your reinstatement quotes. And I bring it up because we did that on September 10th, Friday, last week. And the first phone call Mike did, he got the runaround. He was told that the bank wouldn't speak to him unless he had an attorney, which is wholly inaccurate. Completely false. The whole purpose of this is to help people recover. Secondly, I called a number, I pulled up the statement and the number our bank Wells Fargo gave us in the mail. The number being 1-800-416-1472. Now, I called that number and all it did was give me a recording, a recording of information we already had with no one to speak to, which was odd because they're telling us, call us to speak to us, right? So because it was so odd, I looked up this number. Now be danged, 416-1472-1800 is not registered to Wells Fargo. It is registered to a police department Swainsboro Police Department in Georgia. Now, I have to ask, why would Wells Fargo give me a number to a recording of my information that is owned and operated by Swainsboro Police Department? Just that was one note. Secondly, I'd like to tell you that you need to go to your bank's website and look up their procedures and their numbers because I did that on Friday, like I said. And according to the bank, we're all set and waiting for our uh, reinstatement quote, which we've been trying to pay since the fraudulent sale of our home. And I bring this up because of the number issues in the runaround when we were trying to pay our mortgage off. Instead of paying it off, we had to go to bankruptcy. I mean, the procedures and the, what happened to us was not normal. Like I said, so many other things not being normal. This is another one. And now I know why a bank would give us a number for a police department with just a recording on it. So I just want to warn you to make sure you go to your mortgage company's websites and take care of it immediately so that no one else gets screwed over. And I'm hoping that we won't we're ready and have been willing to pay our mortgage and just want to stop the games. The attorney's fees that they want us to pay shouldn't even be an issue right now because if it weren't for them trying to avoid our contact and phone calls, we would have had this taken care of two years ago. Okay, people, good luck with your mortgage and take care of it right away. Bye.